Hey everyone, it's Carolyn Edlin, the founder of Artsy Shark. Welcome to my channel. If you are interested in the business of art, I'm sure you'll find some videos here that are of interest. I've got a topic today that I want to touch on, and it has to do with live sales. This is selling in person, for example, in a booth at an art fair or an art show or a festival. Some tips to help you feel a little more comfortable and be more successful in your sales when dealing with people who are walking in to see your work live. So my first uh, suggestion has to do with your greeting. When people walk into your booth, are you the kind of person who looks the other way or just hopes maybe they walk in or says something like, let me know if you have any questions or let me know if I can help you which are total throwaway lines, you're not gonna get any response to that. That's things that people say when they really do not want to engage with the customer. So I'm gonna suggest that you have a number of things that you can say about your display and about your work immediately when people walk in, look up, hi, how are you? You might say, everything in my booth is a lithograph and lithography is a very old, printmaking process that's really fascinating. Oh, really? I've never heard of lithographs. Tell me more about that. Or you might tell them about your inspiration that perhaps all of the photographs here were taken in Europe, but everything on this site is from Central and South America. So if they want to look through that, just to kind of break the ice a little bit without putting the hard sell on anybody, just to give them information so that they can review your work and look through what you're um, your artwork is with a little more knowledge, a little more direction. I think that that greeting opens you up to having that conversation because you've already spoken without being pushy. When you do get into a conversation with people, listen to them. What is their favorite piece? What are they interested in? Do they want to know more about your process? Do they need to know that you're a local artist, for example? And so Ask questions, where would they place something in their home? What are they looking for? Are they buying a gift? Learn these things about them so that you can have a real two-way conversation going on. If you get a chance, place whatever item they're considering in their hands. There's an old saying at art shows that if you put it in their hands, it's three quarters sold. And there's a lot of truth to that because when people touch things, they're experiencing it with another sense, texture, feel, weight, if they want to try something on, try to get it in their hands or at least invite them to touch what it is that you make. And that will move them further towards understanding your work and even feeling a sense of possession. I give this to you, it's in my hands. Oh, I kind of feel like it's mine. Many people will hold on to something that they're interested in because they don't want someone else to buy it. And when you place it in their hands, you give them that, that opportunity. Now you may have noticed when people walk into your booth that quite often they're not alone. There's someone else with them. It might be a friend, it could be a family member. That other person might be shopping with them or maybe they're just walking around and, and being open to, um, to the shopper who's most interested just being there and looking around. But I don't want you to focus only on the person who's expressed interest, but to include the other person in the party as well. You never know who that person might be. That person might have the credit card. They may be the decision maker and you don't want to ignore them but include them in what you're saying with eye contact and with smiling at that person or even asking them a question if you know, the conversation is, is leaning that way. And that way, that other person feels as if they're being heard and seen and respected. You know, if somebody is shopping and their friend is not interested and they're like, yeah, I'm going to be down here. I'm going to go down the aisle. I'll just talk to you later. Then it's kind of push your person out the door. But if you include everyone, you might not only find that the conversation goes more smoothly, everyone is feeling better, but you may have noticed if you do a lot of shows that quite often you'll make more than one sale. Friends often shop because they have things in common and they like certain things that the other person likes. 
So you might make two sales, or again, that person might be the decision maker. What do you think? Should I buy this? And if that other person is excited because they've been included, they may very well give it a yes. So I'm going to suggest that you keep that conversation to I ask those questions, include everyone in the party, and I think you'll get better results. Now, sometimes you may have noticed that people will be with their kids, maybe a child who is bored or hungry or doesn't want to be in your booth, has no interest in it, and they're hanging on, they're, come on, mom, or let's go, or I'm not interested, and they're kind of making your conversation difficult, especially if your customer is considering that sale right then. Now, one thing that I did back in the day when I was doing tons of, tons of live shows, tons of retail shows, was that I had a little bit of packing material in my booth and I would have little pieces of bubble wrap and ask the parents permission, but this will keep kids busy for a couple of minutes. Oh, I know it's hard to wait. I have some bubble wrap. Do you like to pop these bubbles? And most kids are like, yes, yes. And then ask them, would you mind if I give them? Oh, sure, fine. And the kid will sit there and you'll get one or two minutes while the kid is popping over bubbles. Obviously, you're not going to give this to a really small child who's going to put it in their mouth, but usually it works as a diversion tactic. If you need a couple of minutes to close the sale, take the credit card, wrap it up, and then wish them all well that they enjoy the rest of the show. So those are my suggestions for you today. Make sure that you have several good lines for a greeting to tell people about what you do so that they can understand it better. Place anything in their hands that they're considering, if possible, or just encourage them to touch it. Include all of the parties in your conversation and have a diversion for the kids if that's something that you feel is necessary to just buy you a couple of minutes to close that deal. Are there any other tips and tricks that you have as an artist that you found works really well with a live sale? Please place it in the comments below. Thanks a lot. And if you enjoyed this video and found it valuable, please give it a thumbs up.